Marvel's Hawkeye finale sets up the future of the MCU with Kate Bishop becoming a superhero at last and Maya Lopez transforming into Echo. I'm Joe Sam and welcome to our channel, Daily Research Plot. Let's start the video now. The ending of Hawkeye finale sets up the future of Kate Bishop and Clinton Barton and sees Kingpin betrayed to set up an MCU future that most fans probably didn't see coming. Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye has always felt like something out of a second tier Avenger in large part because he's never been given the chance to star in his own MCU blockbuster. Still, he's an essential part of the MCU's Phase 4 serving as a mentor to one of the new Avengers, Kate Bishop, the second Hawkeye from the comics, played by Haley Steinfeld. And a lot of people are looking forward to see what she's going to be bringing to this amazing film. Now, the Hawkeye finale is a breath of fresh air because unlike most Marvel movies, the entire world isn't in danger. Instead, the two Hawkeyes are simply trying to get out of a mess. Kate becomes a target because she wore the running suit inheriting all of Renan's enemies, while Yelena, Black Widow, has targeted Clinton Barton. Footage of Kate's mother, Eleanor, attempting to get out of her deal with Kingpin means things are going to escalate, though with the tracksuit mafia called in to make an example of Eleanor Bishop, and only the Avengers Archer can save the day by finally embracing his partnership with Kate, those two working together is also going to be something really exciting for fans to see because they've been waiting for this partnership to actually happen. Hawkeye's ending is a fun full stop to an MCU Disney Plus TV show that feels surprisingly self-contained. In truth, though, the dramatic season one finale of Hawkeye is all about setup with new heroes stepping out of the shadows and a hint Clint's wife Laura Borton is secretly Mockingbird, a superhero from the comics as well. So here's Hawkeye's ending explained and all its setup for the future of the MCU. So we're going to break this down in two parts because it is a little bit lengthy with all that we want to explain. Kate Bishop becomes Hawkeye, Clint's partner. That's the big thing. Now, Kate Bishop was thrilled when Hawkeye crossed her path and she's been attempting to persuade him she's his partner. It's only when Clint learns Eleanor was working with Kingpin that he finally accepts this, though he knows Kate's in over her head and that she wouldn't even be able to survive without him. And this is why he considers all of those possibilities when working together. The two Hawkeyes don the costumes created by the law firms to work as a team armed with a supply of homemade trick arrows that deploy. Stark Tech and Pym Tech, they prove more than a match for everything Kingpin can throw at them, successfully taking down a literal army of tracksuit mafia goons. By Hawkeye's ending, Kate is considering her future as a superhero, tossing out all code names. The episode doesn't show it, but it's pretty clear Clint tells her she can be Hawkeye, which was probably very exciting news to her. The MCU's Disney Plus TV show has been setting up the Young Avengers, and Kate Bishop's Hawkeye is one of their most important members, often serving as their leader. Now, while the other Young Avengers had relatively minor roles, Wiccan and Speed were introduced in WandaVision. Patriot has minor roles in The Falcon and The Winter Soldier, and Stature is being set up through the Ant-Man films. Kate Bishop's Hawkeye literally has an entire Disney Plus TV series dedicated to her debut, focusing on her relationship with the original Hawkeye. Marvel is yet to confirm when she'll next appear, but we can definitely say that her future is secure. Now, Yelena learns the truth of Natasha's death, and this was something that was surprising to everyone, including Yelena. Eleanor hired Yelena Black Widow to kill Clint Barton, but in truth for Yelena, this was personal. She blames Clint for the death of her sister, Natasha. 
Now, Yelena has correctly deduced the Avengers didn't tell the truth about Black Widow's death in Avengers Endgame. The heroes seem to have kept the time travel secret, and nobody is talking about what happened on Vormir. Now, the confrontation between Yelena and Hawkeye takes a twist. However, when Clint reveals he even knows the secret whistle Yelena shared with her sister, proving just how close he was to Natasha, this leads to an emotional moment in which Yelena confronts her sorrow and grief and decides to walk away rather than kill Hawkeye, who she senses shares her pain. Now, it will be interesting to see how this affects her relationship with the Contessa, who presumably arranges the jobs on Yelena's behalf. Now, as this video is going to be a long one, as we mentioned before and earlier during this video, I've decided to divide the video into two parts. So I'll be back with the second part of this video soon. This is Joe signing off for today. If you really like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're tuning in on Facebook, go ahead and give us a like on our page. We'll be back with part two of this video. We'll see you soon.